Welcome to the second PageFly editing video. Today we're going to be making a landing page for a email collection list. I'm thinking of doing a list of 50 winning dropship products each week. Nice. And then whoever signs up for the email would get the list. <laughs> yeah, boy. We're just going to put a header and a image. So to put stuff like this, as you just saw, you just duplicate the column by pressing the plus button like you do here. We only want two columns, so we're just going to delete that. I'm just going to make a template first for me, and then we can fill it in afterwards. Usually I do design with Figma first, but I was like, I don't want to do that for this it's since it's just one page. So we're just going to use this. Okay, so header, da da da. It'll be like, get your winning, get your winning product, product list, not product, product list, uh, some sort of image here. We'll put like a how it works sort of thing, how it works. I'm not sure if I'm going to use Clavio or Omnisend. I'm pretty sure Omnisend, honestly. Clavio is really expensive. I have it for one of my stores and it's like five, six hundred a month. I'm just gonna send emails with Omnisend, nothing special. So we're gonna use Omnisend. And then the slideshow thing. Examples of past winning products. This is what our products will be like. I don't know, make it snazzy afterwards. A little bit spicy. One trick for slideshow is make one slideshow the way you want and then just duplicate it so this slideshow just press slide one i want a border around it so go to styling border style put the border i want it rounded so border radius we're gonna put 20 mm, yeah 20 and then image doesn't matter and we don't need the button here either. So go to slideshow and then just duplicate it. Number of slides to show, go back to three. Three. See, there we go. We're just gonna put some margin there, like 25 margin. And we'll just duplicate this again, like six maybe. And then we'll just put the button down here again. And it'll be like, uh, sign up now the header I'm just gonna make straight to the point get 50 winning drop ship products each week and we'll center it by using the text alignment for the image I'm not sure what image to use yet we'll just leave that blank and to center images you have to press on column and then text alignment and then we're also gonna put a button up there right there center that as well Again, press column for button and it'll be centered. The button styling, I want like 15 maybe. Maybe a border, change that border to one. And the background color, I don't want a background, so I'm just gonna put transparent. The button will be transparent. And then the hover, I do want a background there, so we'll put it to white. So right now the button is transparent but when you hover over it it's white um content color i want it okay under the how it works i'm just gonna put like a icon and header paragraph sort of thing i'll explain in a second image heading and then a paragraph underneath and then just duplicate this three times not copy or actually two times is fine i don't want it transparent anymore we're going to use yellow instead of button text we're going to put claim my list poppins is the font we use here so go to styling font family poppins and i do want it bold so we'll make it bold and just a little bit bigger claim my list cool straight To your mail 
As you can see, I'm not the best with spelling. Spell red. L S T E R. Most times, Peach Fly is very tedious to work with. It gets annoying. Like, does this count as annoying? Get 50 winning dropship products each week, claim my free list, and then this is gonna scroll them down to this section. They'll see past winning products. And I also wanna do example of what you'll see, like a example of an email. What you'll see with like a picture of an email underneath. We'll put that right there. I'm just gonna put a divider in there I just it's just gonna look way too overwhelming for people if they I just want it to be simple this is pretty much it uh, we just have to change the font pictures and that's pretty much it and optimize for mobile that's pretty much it hey that's pretty good I haven't found the images I'm gonna be using for this yet so I will see you once I found the images. A few moments later. Welcome back. I have found the images that we're going to use as well as the font. I also went ahead and activated the Omisend form. Basically all you have to do is go on Omisend, Omisend a sign up form and then just put the link right here. So for the first image I did want a GIF. I'm just going to use the money one since it's like make money. I like money. To make the text on the left center, just put the margin to 100, which is going to bring it down. For the straight to your email, I found an image that I want to use. Go to image source and I already put the image on Pagefly, so it's easier for us to just import. Same with the other image I'm going to use. Uh, obviously, just adjust the image width. So it's about the same size. Okay, that seems good. Okay, for the section, I did want uh, different colors. So I went on color code and found the color code for the background of this image. So we're gonna go back on this. Press section, styling, scroll down to background color, and then insert the color there. Same thing with this. Copy the color code, go back to page 5, background color, and there we go. Just gonna bring this down as well by using the margin setting. Just press margin to 50 maybe? Yeah, 50 works. And then same with this, we're just gonna put the margin to like 20. Now we can adjust the sizing. Font size for this, let's put to 35. And then the font that we're going to use is just regular old poppins and change the content color back to white. I actually really like this font. And then for the paragraph font, we're going to use Sen. Same with this, Sen. And then we'll change the font size to maybe 20. We'll take these sections off. I realize I don't want them here. It's just too complicated. Press on button general and click action you're gonna press scroll to section if you press go to ul this is going to direct to a different page we just want to scroll down so we're gonna press scroll to section and it's the last section so the last section and it's gonna scroll right here that's pretty much it um let's press save and publish let's check it out Okay, pretty decent. Sometimes it the cache is just full and it doesn't show up. For example, this, um, what's it called? Sign up form does not look like this. I changed it, but when I try to see it again, it doesn't work. So just press new incognito mode, paste the URL. And then as you can see, this is what the sign up form actually looks like. The reason it's showing up different on the normal page is because my cache is full. Let's just optimize for phone and we're pretty much done. So press all devices, scroll down to mobile. First thing, the header is way too big. So go to styling, shrink down the header, 
35 works and we'll just make the line height a bit bigger so it's not squished in as well as the image size we'll just shrink it down go to image go to general image width and then just shrink it down and then of course this is way too big so we'll just shrink it down straight to your mail same with this image and as if you remember we made the header of this margin down as you can see it's 20 so we'll just bring it to zero okay well that's pretty much it <laughs> that is pretty much it and let's check out our final result again we'll go to our incognito mode and let's just try signing up and see if it works awesome that is pretty much it <laughs> magnificent magnificent magnificent